So acrylic paint uh, is typically uh, in more of a paste format. Um, the texture is a little bit thick. It's typically done with paint brushes. Right. Word painting is when we add some things to the paint so that it can literally be poured out of a cup or poured out of a bottle or used a Jackson Pollock style to fling it about because it's nice and runny and it's fluid. So it's actually called fluid acrylic art. Um, uh, and the technique is pouring. So when you say you add things to the paint, what kind of things do you add? I tend to use Floatrol, which is an additive that house painters use to make the paint self-leveling. Ah, so this is something easily available to anybody, right? Absolutely. I buy a gallon jug at a time at Lowe's for about forty dollars. Wow, there you go. So w wait a minute, let me ask you, how did you get started in this? <laughs> um, I saw a YouTube video one day of a lady who used a blow dryer to blow paint across a canvas and it turned into this gorgeous abstract thing. And so I just voraciously started watching YouTube videos of other people doing the same and came up with some ideas, some inspiration from those people and decided that I would just go buy the things that I wanted to try it and, and became immersed in it. I painted every day <laughs> until I had canvases lined up that weren't dry yet. So. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. So what, what are you thinking when you do a port painting? Are, are you thinking about, I want it to turn out this way or are you thinking, let's see what happens? You're literally thinking, let's see what happens. It, you, you can try to plan, but um, eventually what happens is it becomes whatever it becomes. And so I, I have a, a piece at my uh, salon where I own, the, I own a salon in Denton, and I have a piece hanging on the wall that looks like abstractly, and it's an expressionist thing. It looks like similar to a flower vase with flowers in it. And the reason is because I tried a technique called swiping where I took strips of paint and just poured strips of paint parallel to each other uh, on the canvas and then took a wet paper towel and dragged it across. It's called a swipe. Oh my goodness. Like, yes. It looks so much like a window pane to me, wet, that I decided to begin manipulating it to create something that looked like a window. And so I took a bottle of my paint that was pre-mixed and I just squeezed it onto the canvas and then took a spatula and started manipulating until it appeared to be a flower vase, a glass vase with flowers on it, on a windowsill. Oh, and that's it. No. it's one of my favorite pieces and it was not intended to be flowers originally. It was just, let's see what happens with a wet paper towel. And that's how it came out. Now, I personally am not real great with colors. Do you have to know the color wheel and everything to be able to do this? You really don't, but if you want it to be something that's more um, design specific, having some knowledge of color theory is good. Melody Prairie of Denton, thank you. A poured painter. I can now say I talked to a poured painter. Thank you so much for talking to us this evening. It's been wonderful. Thank you, Jimmy. Have a good night. You too. Talk to you soon. Stick around. Delmarva Life will be right back.